dance. It was all one that was done for, for me and for my grandson. About some few months ago, as my first testimony, my grandson was sick. I just about drank and I saw him, he's in a body school. I saw him sitting and he was looking healthy, but he was white. When I got up from that dream, I said, what type of a dream is this? He's looking physically healthy. But why is he looking so white? I prayed and I thought it was all over. A few days later, just about three or four days, the mother called me and told me that. I said, Grandma, they have called me from school that will come and connect somewhere because he's living somewhere. I said, what is wrong with him? Has he committed a crime? He said, no. They said he's sick. So we rushed to school the following day. And when we got there, we found out that he was looking here because I saw him in the dream. And he could not walk. I said, what type of a thing is this? I thought he was joking. He said he cannot walk, he cannot sleep. I said, this is serious. So we took him home. And then we took him to the hospital the following day. In the hospital, they ran a series of tests, but they could not find anything troubling him. The rest of us said, small medicines, and we took him home again. So we took him back to school the second time. As we took him back to school the second time, after two days, they called for us and we should come and take him home again. I said, this one is something for me. So we took him home. We went to another hospital. They conducted a series of tests again. They could not see anything troubling him. So we took him back to school again after he said he's feeling fine. After about three days again, they called for us again that we should come and take him back home. So we took him to another hospital. They conducted a series of tests and they said they have not seen anything. So they made the test now and sent to France. And when the test, uh, the results came, they found out that there's a certain substance that is supposed to be in the sum of this body. And the range of that substance is between 140. Uh, 208 for normal for a normal person. And especially for a child of that age, he cannot be up to that amount. But my grandson was having 1,004 units of it. So when the doctor saw it, the, son, the doctor was really alarmed and called for us. Now we should come and take him back. Because since he's in school, he can be playing. And if he falls, if he collapses, it will be very dangerous, very fatal. So I took him, I said, my God, I have the biggest hospital in the whole world. I brought him to King Shippo. They started praying for him. And to God be the glory, after the series of prayers, he is now well. He can even ride his bicycle. He can run around and he can play to the glory of God Almighty. Send the praise, Master Jesus Christ. I rose up and I just put out some gospel music as a 
said that. And that is how that pain came out of my mind. So I want to thank God for all the work that she has done for me. My dear brothers and sisters, that's not all. That's not all. I was having some hitting. Hitting. Different type of hitting that I don't know. But sometimes I'll just use that is because I am stressed up. I will try to rest, try to sleep. It does not go. I will be feeling heat. I always feel heat. And I thought it's because of uh, my youthfulness. You know, it is our women's youthfulness. We sometimes feel heat. So I just told myself that it's because I'm getting younger and younger. That's why I'm feeling this heat. I think some of you understand what I'm saying. So I did not know that it's something serious. So it continued. I could not pray. I have a small prayer group that we should pray. When they come with us, I cannot pray. I said that I don't know what is really wrong with me. So I, I went to the hospital, the prescribed drugs. And then I also had some pains here on my on my neck, like uh, uh, this uh, mums. So when I went to the hospital, the doctor tried to try to make the best for me physically with the, the, the small uh, the spatula. And he said I should open my mouth. I open my mouth. Immediately I open my mouth. The doctor said I have tonsillitis in it and it is very, very
Donc de Dieu, elle dit que son fils a commencé à être malade et le Seigneur lui avait révélé effectivement ce qui s'est passé déjà dans la vie de son fils. C'est comme ça qu'elle dit qu'elle connaît le grand médecin, le médecin effectivement qui guérit toute forme de maladie. Ils sont allés à l'hôpital. Dès qu'ils sont allés à l'hôpital, le, le docteur a donné son diagnostic et qui semblait être très très dangereux pour l'enfant, que si on perdait, on tardait encore, l'enfant pouvait tomber et ça devait être la fin. Mais elle dit qu'elle est venue, la fin est venue avec l'enfant à l'église et le Seigneur Jésus-Christ, le grand docteur, a ressuscité cet enfant et gloire à Dieu, il est complètement restauré et elle rend gloire à Dieu parce que l'enfant se porte très bien. Et son deuxième témoignage de ce Dieu, elle dit qu'elle également, avant que notre papa ne retourne à la gloire, le papa avait l'habitude de lui dire qu'il faut qu'elle soit en joie et la joie vient de Dieu et la tristesse vient du diable. Ceci est resté dans sa pensée pour toujours peuple de Dieu. Elle dit que même dans ses visions, à chaque fois qu'elle est triste, elle se rappelle de ses paroles et c'est comme ça qu'elle retrouve au peuple de Dieu. Effectivement, la vie et la, la joie en Jésus. Et ceci a persisté, peuple de Dieu. Elle dit que quelque chose s'est passé récemment dans sa vie. C'est qu'elle a commencé à avoir des violents mots de tête. Et ces mots de tête, de Dieu, elle dit qu'elle a eu l'impression que c'est parce qu'elle priait peut-être trop la nuit. Et c'est pour ça qu'elle s'est levée. Elle a, elle a essayé toutes les remèdes, toutes les possibilités. Elle a essayé de réfléchir d'où viennent ces mots de tête. Et cela a affecté les tels points que quand elle entrait même dans le taxi, elle était obligée de baisser les vides parce qu'elle avait l'impression qu'il y avait trop de bruit autour d'elle. Il fallait qu'elle soit dans le cadre parce que les, les mots de tête étaient si violents. Peu de Dieu, elle dit que. Elle n'avait pas le choix de venir encore une fois de plus rencontrer le Seigneur Jésus-Christ dans son église ici pour ministrer que je suis maintenant je suis ministré. Arrivé, les hommes de Dieu ont prié avec elle. Et quand ils ont prié avec elle, de Dieu, quelque chose s'est passé dans sa vie, de Dieu. Elle dit que quand elle est rentrée, il y a une il y a un, un, un liquide qui est sorti pratiquement de sa tête et s'est passé par le nez. Et ça avait l'air un peu de sang. Et c'est comme ça qu'après cela, que Dieu a dit qu'elle n'a plus ses mots de tête. Elle a été complètement restaurée. Et voilà pourquoi elle est débordante de joie. Elle rend toute la gloire à Jésus-Christ pour ce qu'il a fait dans sa vie. Attends, c'est pour le Seigneur Jésus-Christ.